What's up guys? This is the Riferman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War. Let's play as the Kingdom of Mysore. And in this episode, uh, we are still maintaining the pressure against Russia and we are launching our attack against Astrakhan. So we're going to fight this battle manually just to make sure I don't destroy this follow-up army, which I want to be in good stead, ready to take the city of Astrakhan itself. But without further ado, let us attack. So I think I'm going to have to up my game somewhat with Russia and effectively just make sure I engage them at every opportunity and don't uh, don't get seduced by the lure of hitting end turn and seeing what happens. Uh, I think we just need to up the pressure across the board because I think they will if we attack everywhere we possibly can every turn they will run out of troops and they won't be able to produce enough reinforcements to plug all those holes. So I think that's the next step here. Uh, if we're fighting for the hill, guns are a bit useless at the back. Ultimately, the line is very the uh, army we're facing is very. Sm Come on, that's not what I wanted. The army we're facing is very small, so I suspect my melee infantry alone will be more than enough to deal with it. Keep rest of my infantry behind. Keep, get my cavalry forward. And as this is a small battle, let's just make sure we speed up time. They've got a regiment of horse, they've got gunners, they've got all sorts of good stuff. But we just grossly outnumber them. Here they come. Which is maybe... Okay, let's get... Let's get offensive. Yeah, their artillery's opened up, but we don't have to worry about their artillery. Now oh, they're blasting us with shrapnel shot. Don't worry, my guys are in position. In a straight fight, I think they do beat us, but... We won't be in a straight fight for very long. Up, get my horsemen up, get my Sapahi to go for the regiment of horse. Because these guys are skirmish cavalry, so just let them skirmish. You may get your muskets out, start popping up some shots at the first regiment of foot. They're killing themselves, and that's causing problems there. This unit will halt fire to allow my units to pass. There comes the militia. They're the ones being engaged by a bow fire. Because Obashi, they're not slouches in combat. Okay, let's deploy my cavalry to pursue and destroy. I'm gonna let my infantry just run and actually you guys might just go after them right now. Excellent skirmish cavalry. Go after the Cossacks. You my Sapahi go after the gunners. My camels just keep providing support by supporting the flank, although, yeah, you can see them. You can see them through the woods. OK, 
And it's mostly pursue and destroy infantry units. Send the infantry unit to pursue that one gunner. I mean, this is very much unnecessary, but... Send in the camels. Excellent. Damn right we're going to continue. Go after the militia. It's focused on trying to kill this unit of Cossacks before they escape because they're near the front line or near the edge of the battle space. Oh, one more notch. Nice. Okay, yeah, it's my light cavalry and camels versus this unit of line infantry that's my next priority target, not the militia. There yeah, we got them. Nice. Those are units that are just completely destroyed. Back you go. Yes, Miller. Miller. You're not actually in range, so let's position. Okay, let's position for next turn. So you men are ready. You men are picking up your position again. Okay, let's open up the road to Ukraine. Ooh, it's actually going to draw in both those armies. Very interesting. Well, let's get to it. So that is the Kiev garrison plus the army outside of the city. So this is quite a quite a significant and valuable engagement. That means we can. I mean, we do have overwhelming superiority in this area, so it would be silly to kind of sit on our hands. I must admit, I was planning on it being a bit more of a set piece battle: destroy the weak formation, uh, siege the city knock out the reinforcing army then attack the city itself but you know Russia's built good infrastructure and it means they can respond I see that you have made three spelling mistakes yeah well I got your head chopped off so I wouldn't be too smug if I were you Thomas Toma anyway so the big question here is where are the reinforcements going to come in from? So I'm tempted to... Well, I'm going to play a bit defensively till we know where they're coming in. Something like that. Then let's put... I mean, our main battle line is facing ahead. I, am a, I really want to see if the AI betrays us and jumps in behind us, because if they do, we've got a whole load of melee infantry that are going to mob any army that comes through there. Okay, no, they come. Okay, right, that makes sense. That was my, other, my one gun team I forgot to place. Go wide over here. Let's deploy my... Oh, Going after my Gurkhas. Let's deploy my melee troops behind the lines. Although, I suppose we are going to have to attack him. So let's get my other gunners up here. 
we have killed their general. Get this cavalry over on the flank pretty rapid. my last Hindu musketeer unit. Let's advance. That might trigger their cavalry to deploy, and it has. Well, no. They're still... Push up my melee troops. Switch to round shot, bombard their line. They are bringing, coming in to reinforce. Let's actually get one gun team to start engaging the foot artillery that's coming in to help them out. I mean, what are you doing? I mean, do you think you're just going to be able to sneak your way through our lines? Because granted, that's what you're doing now, but this is where the Hindu musketeers get up to no good. Is this other gun team, are you in position yet? Not yet. I think they were just suiciding these a horse artillerymen into our Force, which is fair enough, I would suppose. Bring my native cav back to deal with... My native lancers back to deal with that. I mean, the Vibioni Streltsy are able to... They can hit my cavalry, but... Yeah, cavalry going to get... My Gurkha's going to get hit by the charge. Not that, I, not that I really care. Their cavalry is trying to chase down my cavalry. My battle line. Advance. So the horse artillery is going to escape. I mean, my melee troops are going to cut that skirmish cavalry down to size. Because it started raining, sound has started to get spotty. Engage. Are you actually shooting at anything? Yeah, you are. Run my line up so they can start shooting. That's a bummer, but... Oh well, these things happen. Commit my Sikh warriors and Islamic swordsmen. Can maybe make my guns focus on their actual line formations. We retreat, you push back their cavalry. take my right flank and push this hill. In which case, let's give them a bit of artillery support. Where's the 
is my melee troops. Push native lancers. Go after the three pounder horse artillery. Get my Kizilbashi cavalry to support the attack. Get my Sipahi out wide. Maybe be a bit more aggressive with you. Push them directly up onto the flank of that line infantry unit. Push my general up. Got another cavalry charge trying to smash into our line. Bring up the swordmen. go after the artillery. There's a couple more units of artillery coming in, which is pretty spicy. There you go, Kizobashi. Put a volley into those Cossacks. Keep my melee troops running wide. Starting to get some fractures into the enemy in the enemy army. Kill those horse artillerymen. Retarget some of our units. Oh, yeah. They're responding. Push my melee infantry up, because they do have a household cavalry unit up here, and they're going to get some Cossack infantry up to support. Begin to flank, well keep my artillery smashing this infantry concentration on top of the hill. Push you men forward. That means you're gonna be exposed to a little bit for this to this line infantry fire, but I do want you guys to move up as well. Actually, my heavy cavalry's probably done for my lance. Native lances are definitely done for. Yeah, there they go. Jump on the Narski Regiment with the foot. Let's keep my melee infantry back to protect this flank. Let's allow my musketeers to just do what they need to do against the enemy in this blob. Here comes their reinforcements. We're going to lose this Sapahi unit, which is going to be regrettable, but not terrible. Okay, this seventh light foot should be going down fairly soon. Pull one melee unit off to go attack those Sapahi. You men keep going after the Narvsky Regiment of Foot, because there's only 18 of them. Bad luck, Hindu Musketeers, you've been smashed on the flank. Take this hill. You may mow down some units. I mean, a lot of that enemy infantry is going to get enemy cavalry rather is going to get cut down by my melee infantry there goes the light infantry so they should all focus on the third regiment Let's focus our artillery fire on the third chase down the foot guards we have a reinforcing general unit which isn't super high priority but I'll take it
Get these Hindu warriors over here. New men keep going after the guard musketeers. Our ammunition state is still okay. Let's probably divvy up my artillery fire a bit more widely. Excellent. Keep on adjusting our lines. You men get out wide. Let's get the kids of Bishop Cavalry back. My dervishes are chopping down their household cavalry. So we've got our Hindu warriors, our Sipahi, and our Kizobashi coming in to smash these militiamen. We are hacking down their household cavalry. Excellent. We're gonna, we've taken... We, well, we have taken the hill, so let's advance up our line. We target the artillery, probably focusing on this these guard infantry. Okay, then charge you men in to go, go after these militiamen. I mean, my melee infantry protecting the center haven't done a huge amount. Okay, you men advance. Focus on the militia. Sapahi, go after the horse artillerymen. Hindu warriors go after the guards in the flank. So you men are going to gun down the seventh light foot. And you men are going to hold. Probably get your breath back. Bring your gen this general over here. I was hoping you'd be ready to fire point blank point blank range. That light infantry is not going to stand. Okay, let's begin to drive a bit of a wedge between the two areas, between the two forces. Advance at advance slowly, then you will run the last distance. Who's that? of Ashley Cavalry fall back. So if I could get that in Gunner. Precision artillery smashing into the 40 mount foot guards. And my elephants kick off the charge. Follow in. Okay, let's maybe pull these melee troops back because they're in a bit of a bad spot. These Hindu musketeers are in a bad spot. And now recommit them. Uh, push the swordsmen in. Seek warriors in. So those are just light. Those are riflemen, so they are not going to stand up to a concentrated push by a melee infantry. There we go. Push in the melee troops. It's a lot of dragoons, dragoons, guard infantry. 
You men push past all this chaos. You men are killing the Cossack. The general's killing the Cossacks. You men have got the Rofemen. Push on and pursue the routing troops. Okay, you're just routing troops over there. Bring in the general. Artillery bombard the foot guards. Push the melee troops down into this fight down here. Same with the Sapahi. Because Obashi go after the foot guards, even though you're not really at great at high strength. The guardsmen are allegedly winning, but they've not got many men, so they should. Be, well, soon they will fall off a cliff in terms of their morale. Cease fire the guns. Commit the Hindu musketeers. Human advance. Ah, oh, there we go. Morale collapse. The guardsmen are not going to stand. Who are you waiting for? Engage the light dragoons. So why is Sipahi are in there somewhere, aren't they? Yes, they are. Okay, advance. Surround that cavalry unit with musketeers. Commit my general. They, the 55th, 55th two man. Part of the sound bugs. Here comes the uh, original musket sounds. Keep attacking the third regiment. Okay, you guys just go steamboating straight in, I guess. So these light dragoons are being hacked to pieces. Yeah, and they've broken. That's the first regiment of dragoons, no less. Let's just speed up this last engagement because it's just a uh, just jump on them. Just jump on them. Guardsmen are good, but you know what? I think we mind. Let's just end the battle there. This is a Pyrrhic victory, but it definitely isn't. One of my armies is completely obliterated, but actually it's still a fairly good nick. But it's not. Well. They're in a lot worse nick than I am, because there we go. Now, that means Kiev is ripe for the taking. So you men, you've got plenty of artillery. It's cavalry. You you want two units of cavalry, really. So let's see what cavalry I can recruit in Europe. Let's get another unit of Sapahi and a unit of Zimandari horsemen. Yes, Milard. Because now... <laughs> Demand the surrender of the city itself. The idea is that we can push the rest of their the rest of their armies out of the region. So you're gonna head this way to head off Mr. Flurko. We've got a couple of other armies heading this way as well. The idea is you've been dealt with. Do they have a... Ah, there it is. University. First of all, let's immediately break it. Oh, we can't immediately break it because it's already ours now. You... 
You're not within range. Are you within? You're not. No, none of you are within range. So send two armies north. You push up to the city. You push up to the city there. Good. You're replenishing, but waiting for artillery. Push you up to here. Okay, so now Corland's fairly safe. So I wonder, can we firstly build a bunch of fishing ports? If I put you guys in, minus one. Yeah, you guys can you can handle that. So then this army replenish. This army replenish. Human cross over to Riga. You are waiting for artillery, aren't you? You are. You are indeed. Let's make sure you are fully replenishing. And you men here. Yeah, so we're bringing in this army's reinforcements, but that should be okay. Let us engage. Actually, let's wait. Let's wait for these guys already, then we can smash east and secure these crossings and drive towards Moscow from the west. Are you reinforcing? You are. Good. You men are ready to deal with any infiltrators. You're all pushing. Okay. It's hit in turn. Yeah, lots of Russian... Ah, oh, I hope I didn't... I might not have moved. But I could have attacked that uh, raiding force to the north. But I did not. Britain still being Britain. We have three armies ready to invade the British Isles if they decide to uh, get up to any mischief. So effectively, Moscow is their only source of recruitment that's supporting the battle at the front now, because Kiev is gone. St. Petersburg isn't recruiting that many troops for whatever reason, so any armies they're generating must be from Moscow. Well, predominantly from Moscow. Looks like they are pulling out of Finland. Which is good, because it means the armies in Finland can focus on attacking Petrovskaya, and then the armies in Estonia and Latvia and Lithuania can push towards St. Petersburg. Lots of minute adjustments going on, but not enough, I think, to change the uh, strategic situation. Then we can start mass redeploying. Well, once we take out Russia, we've got a few armies around to take out Dagestan, Greece, and uh, uh, Bavaria, and Württemberg, who have surprisingly remained peaceful. For all this time, because usually they're, they, <laughs> they they declare war on you very very quickly. Looks like they are bundling around Moscow. So some of them might be trying to head east to try and defend against the uh, attacks through the Caucasus. So I've had this happen before. This guy, he's you. He is the, that army in the middle. Oh, they're actually going to attack me in Louisiana now. Hey, they actually are. Ooh, who'd have thunk it? See, that's a bit of a bummer up in Finland. That army's being a scamp. We can send forces. We can send. There's an army outside Stockholm that can march northeast to try and intercept. So we're not going to bring our army back to attack them. We want to keep our forward momentum. Because we're crossing this... Well, we, we've blocked off this strait. We can drive through the woods here and chase the Russians out from where they've come from. So these two armies will combine around about the trapping hut and then head east.
ultimately this shows the ah oh, there's a port i can build in finland as well but th this shows the uh capabilities of the ai to withstand severe economic hardship in that russia controls not very much territory but they are still able to fully equip all of their units because not very many of their flags are showing attrition yet in the way that bavaria does and Württemberg does typically they build armies that are too big well, they trade with lots of their neighbors they build an army that's too big and then when all that trade ceases because their fa their neighbors no longer exist they don't disband troops there we go so that's this little band of stragglers chew them up so this that army north of crimea is actually trapped So I think that's a portion of troops that have pulled back from Astrakhan. Interesting. Be interesting if they do pull out of Astrakhan. On one, well, interesting on one hand, frustrating on the other, because that's another, that's another um, contingent of troops that will now continue to frustrate our efforts to push on the capital. Interesting. You too have elected to march on Crimea, and we will intercept Albert Flerko. What I was saying is this army, when they were sat here, was trapped, because they can't cross here. Well, they can't cross here. They can't cross the river or anywhere else apart from here at Kherson. So, let's get ready to fight this Russian force. And then eventually, I suspect, the uh, Crimean rebels will attempt to try and free their peoples but it's not going to work. Right, right, right. So we are going to be defensive. We're going to let them come at us. And we're gonna we're gonna blow them to pieces. So musketeer, musketeer. Oh, actually, we do not have many musket troops in this army. We have a large contingent of melee troops. Okay, so that leaves us with... So you're deployed, you're deployed. Oh, you haven't been deployed. Let's keep the... Seat Musketeers together. You know what, with all this, all of this, we may not stay defensive. In which case, then group my guns together. Let's create... Create our musket line that's going to advance. Maybe take two units to advance on either flank. So I've got some troops in the centre to respond to cavalry charges. And then get this unit of camel nomads on the right. We are going to want to run... We aren't going to want their let their guns have a massive free reign in trying to kill us.
So my gun, my artillery is going to hit their artillery. So that's a lot of artillery. Well, they're focusing on. Yeah, like that. That. That's that's not good for us. The Bjorni Streltsy are here. Let all my artillery continue to try and engage their artillery. There goes that unit of enemy cavalry already. Camel nomads go for the blunder by shotgunners. Kizilbashi cavalry, actually, we're in a really good spot here. And my Kizilbashi to run in and try and engage their engage their artillery. So you're going to go after the blunderbuss shotgunners. Let's assume the blunderbuss shotgunners are taken care of by my camels. Right, you're skirmishing their artillery because they've still got a good contingent of cavalry nearby. Try to deal with the blunderbuss shotgunners. Ah, oh, my seat warriors are wavering. These are brave souls. Camels go get their regiment of horse. Mob their enemy cavalry. Kizilbashi go for the general's bodyguard. We've dealt with a bunch of their artillery. Commit more men into the fight. Push my melee troops through the front of our line. Fear not. All my melee troops are here. You're going to hopefully deal with the Vibioni Streltsy. Then go back after the Blunderbuss Shotgunners. Seek musketeers get involved on the flank. Yeah, so these Hindu musketeers are melee troops, but just push into the back of the militia. Push these Hindu musketeers through the fight. Send in the elephants. Didn't think about that, did you, Dragoons? You're concerned because you're being attacked in the rear by elephants. Send in the Sikh Musketeers. Commit the Kizilbashi into the fight as well. So Bashi, go after the general's bodyguard. Don't waste your time with this combat. This is being resolved. See, so they've done it again. Go, go, go. It's because they've got men stuck back here. Kill the general. Bring back the camels. Kill the general and the rest will fall. Make sure we boost our contingent supporting the marines. Which 
who come after the infantry here? The camels. Unfortunately, everyone's squaring up to these Strelsky mus musketeers head on. There we go. That's what I wanted. Kill the general. You men go after the marines. You men go after the artillery. Kill them! Kill them all! So you're after them, you are after... This unit of militia. There's going to be a limit to what we can kill. Because most of my mob, all of my mobile infantry are mobile units are camels. I mean, I say that though, they've done pretty good. I mean, they're off the table. That line infantry is done. But everyone can try and kill some of the 95th Regiment of Foot. I mean, we're not going to get them. Actually, it takes camels so damn long to get over here. I mean, we've killed it. We've killed about 25 of them. 40 odd, nearly half. Uh, they're gonna escape. Tragic as though it is, I'll still take that as a victory. You Russian dogs. 200 men remaining. And they're, st they're completely trapped. It's another stack ready to try and get up to no good. So the road to St. Petersburg looks pretty good. If I can block this crossing, it's only this army here that stands between us and the city. I think the armies in Sweden that are currently holding Stockholm and refitting near Stockholm... Ah, oh, that's just going to be an auto, that is. Bleh. Uh, that the army's yeah the army that, that's garrisoning Stockholm. I mean that's going to be an auto as well because look at it. Minsk is ours. Yeah, the army's near Stockholm and the uh, and the army that's refitting near Stockholm, they will uh, they will probably be shipped over to the Americas because we won't need them here. Yeah, Bavaria, that looks like a scary force, but I doubt there's anyone there we need to worry about. Kill the rebels. <laughs> now, now they love us. Turns out, turns out once they've gone, you know what, should we try and rebel? Oh, we've all been killed. Ah, damn it. Well, you know what, things aren't so bad. It seems to be the way of the world here. In Empire Total War. No, not me, not me pleasure, Garden. Agent recruited, a thuggy in East Prussia. Uh, you have the lucky, lucky job of scouting out um, Archangelsk. In my head I was thinking Petrovskaya, and I thought, no, it's not Petrovskaya, it's something else. Let's use this less interesting army to hold. I mean, it's a bit unfortunate, but you're going to go mop up that army. And you men are going to position ready to cross. 
you are going to continue trying to auto-resolve some of these smaller engagements. You're going to push up here. You're going to push east of the city. Actually, let's do a building. Don't want to miss anything. So, you're on your way. So let's just go here. And let's send you to do a counter-attack. We can send additional reinforcements. Sir. Actually, no, they can go into Mobile. And then run them into New Orleans. Good. Your Majesty. So you're ready for anyone that wants to go after our city. They have to fight us. Unless they elect to go to St. Augustine, which will be a bit more of a bummer. In which case... Can you men leave Caracas? You can. Let's get them into the city. Because if they, yeah, they may, they may elect to go east and try and attack Florida and Savannah rather than go towards New Orleans. In which case, recruitment of most of that stuff is not super useful. go. Apart from that though, not going to really worry about it. Main thing is to focus on the main fight in Europe. If we win here, then that Russian fort, that Russian uh, holding just uh, evaporates. Ingros in Greece, Heracleon, let's upgrade the port. I mean, you would think we would start to run out of things to upgrade. Take him out. Bam. Damn. Why are you on strike? Again. Uh, Bucharest. That's where we were. We keep upgrading this. If we can lure them to do some raiding, it will lose their movement points elsewhere. Right, so you're going to go reinforce an army. You're going to head up to there. Same with you. You know, ultimately, we've got plenty of armies, so I think we need to start Start the transfer now, really. And we've got con largely have control of the med, so we can park at the Strait of Gibraltar, ready for the crossing. Oh, I suppose actually we can't go any further because we have a navy blocking it. It still can't get there. So I think it's e it's easier just to park armies here so that I know that's where they are. And I can send them onward afterwards. Is your army no longer needed at Turin? Well, they can position here with them. And them ready to jump on those German states when we need to. That army is probably no longer necessary. Good. Mm. 
There we go. You might actually be able to make it to the... Yeah, you will do. Good, over you go. So you're all ready to invade England. Ooh, it's going to be fun fighting them. Oh, that might be part of the reason why you're upset. It's because you've lost... Well, your pleasure gardens have been destroyed. But at least we are converting you to Islam. Probably want to move this Imam over to Cologne just to speed it up a bit. Because it's a bit more important we get Cologne under our control. Because that's another garrison army that we're able to use. Yeah, so you men are probably... Well, you're going to end up going up here square off against this force you're going to continue your movement here are there any generals to kill not that i can see let's build this port here in finland you're all still replenishing which is a bummer well you can do a switcheroo you need to replenish. Can you come out? Surprisingly okay. Public order over in uh, Eastern Europe. I think you're the one waiting for. Ah, yes. One of these units. There's the guns for you. Here's the Sipahi for you. Your Majesty. So you... Your Majesty. Is anyone at Kazan? Well, let's just auto-resolve Gregory Nokolov. And let's demand the surrender of the city. Let's see how much trouble we're in. Not very much. Victor! Kulikovsky. Yes, let's fortify it. So then let's send... You men on to Ufa. There are going to be raiders around here, but... Actually, you might be able to engage some of these raiders on your way through. And you are going to attack City Vashkan itself. But looking at the timer, we're probably going to end the episode here. And it's a bit ironic, really. We're going to finish the episode prepare fighting the battle we were preparing to do so right at the start. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And I'll see you next time.